Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nolan with Real Bronski Bassin and today we are finally getting out on the kayaks. We're going to be fishing this beautiful lake right here. Nice calm day today. It's been a while since we've been out back on this lake. Um, we're going to be fishing out deep today, see if we can catch some of those schooling bass. Um, You messed it up at the very end. You suck. Let me do it. No, no, no. All right, let's see if we can catch some fish. Fish already? Yeah. Ben's already on. Oh, stick. stick. Oh, it's tiny fish. Tiny fish. Thank you, little bass. All right, so basically what we're doing today is we're taking these jigs, dark sleepers, bottom swim baits, and we're just chucking them out deep. Not super deep, not in the middle, but like 30, 40 yards off the bank. And we're looking for those schooling bass and Ben's on again, geez Louise. It looks like we've already found a school. But yeah, basically what these fall fish are doing, they're, they're just schooling up in these balls. And once you turn one fish on, you can usually catch like just tons of them. And so where the schools aren't, there's usually nothing else around. So you just want to look for those schools rubbing on some sticks right now. But yeah, you just want to look for those schools. And once you fire one up, they all just... All right, yeah, I'm gonna throw a dark sleeper on my other rod, though. Well, actually, I'll take one cast with this lipless. I feel like it's just too calm for the lipless. All right, we threw this dark sleeper guy on. We're gonna toss this guy around. Ben already caught his first fish on that. We're basically just slow creeping this guy on the bottom and then giving him a couple hops and hopefully those bass come up and eat it right on those hops. Got some trees over here. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Yeah, I was just reeling it. No, no, on the dark sleeper. Look at that. Oh. He's going right under the boat. Oh. oh, there we go. Wow, that was a fish the whole time. That was so confusing, not a bad one. Look at that guy right there, chunky buddy. That's a good fall fish right there. Oh my God, look at how he ate that dark sleeper. Right over here. All right, first fish of the day. For me, at least, one and a half pounder probably, maybe even two with that belly. Fatty, dude. Nice. Let's get that release and catch some more. It's probably a couple more. That time I was just reeling it in and I think he was on some cover right there. But yeah, that guy came right on that dark sleeper. Hey, let's sit off this point like 40 yards and just cast at this point. I bet you there's there's a couple more off this point right here. There should be a whole school right off this point right here. Usually we catch a couple here. Oh yeah, that's a bite. Yep, he's still got it. Oh, got him. Feels like a dink. 
Yeah, dink. Nah, he's tiny, dude. Woo! Yeah, we're catching the dinks today. Golly. Another guy in the dark sleeper. Boop. Stick? Stick fish? I think I'm gonna go out deeper. Oh, that's a fish. Jesus Christ. That fish was just pulling like crazy. Are you kidding me? I tried to set the hook and then he just flew off. Oh my God. I just pulled up and he started pulling. Hate it when that happens because then you just have nowhere to set the hook so you just freaking shoot yourself backwards. <laughs> that was a disaster. Golly. Let me back up before I spook them all. Golly. <laughs> I just freaking lift it up and then, oh, Ben's got him. Yep, Ben's got him on. Popped off, gee whiz. These schooling fish pop off like crazy. Yeah, but I just lift it up and they start pulling and I had nothing to do, so I just fell backward. That was ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's a fish right at the frickin' boat. Got him. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's a giant, dude. That's a big one. Holy crap, that's a frickin' big one. Oh, he's not that big. Oh, but he's a nice one. Oh, golly. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice. Oh, yes. That is a good fish. Choked the frickin' dark sleeper. Holy crap. Crap. Look at how we ate that thing, dude. That is gone. You can't even see it from the angle. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's a good fish right there. That is definitely a good fish right there. All right, guys, look at that guy. Not huge, but man, that's a good fish catch right now. Nice skull fish right out there. He started biting right next to the boat. That guy came on the dark sleeper. Another one, my third fish of the day. I'd call him two, maybe two and a half. But we're going to let this guy go. Good fish. There he goes. Let's catch some more, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, that fish literally came like right here next to the freaking boat. So hopefully there's a school right around here. So we're gonna stick around here for like another seven minutes. See if there's a couple more nice ones like that around. There's gotta be a fish just chilling, like right in the shade under the trees. Kerplunk.
<laughs> Did you see that blow up right there? All right, let's throw Mr. Jiggy around for a little bit. Maybe some fish will like this guy. Yeah, that's a fish. Got him. Fine a frickin' lay. On the jigs. Dink. <laughs> that's finally a fish. Finally, man. It's been a little bit since we've caught one. All right, see ya. We haven't caught anything for a little while. It's got towards more of the middle of the day and we're making our way to the back of the lake. But well, fish is a fish. Really? Is that fish? Oh, sure. What? Oh, you have one? That's a stick. Oh no, that is a fish. Hey, that looks like a. Oh, that's a big one, dude. That is a nice one on the frickin' Ned. Oh, never mind. Looks a lot bigger. Nice. And look at that fish, guys. Not a bad one on the Ned rig. I didn't know he was on there. I mean, this seems to be a good spot. A lot of fish are around here. Maybe probably a two pounder right here. All right, let's let this guy go. Ben's on. Big one? Tiny. Super tiny guy. Another one on the net. Alright, just got some more. Oh, that's one. Oh, missed him. Well, it seems like there's a score right here. Come on, fishies, eat again. Is that a fish? Yep, that's a fish. Oh, what the frick? That felt like a freaking good one. Oh, that hurt like hell. I just jabbed my rib cage so bad. That was a fish. My drag was loose as heck. Oh man, that hurt. Look at that, there's a carp or a giant bass out there hitting something. What the heck is that? It's some type of fish that's getting drilled or something. What in the, what in the world? There's some fin coming up. I have no clue. I'm gonna cast at it. I literally hit it. <laughs> I landed right on top. I feel something. I'm dragging something. 
What in the world? Oh, it's a dying fish. That's what it is. It just came to the top. Here, let's go see what it is. I just saw this blow up on top and it looks like a massive bass. What in the world is that? Is that a... Wait, no. What? Net him up. Really? A huge crappie? Like how big? Holy sheesh! Oh! He's he's choking on another fish. Oh, I see that. I'll pull it out. What in the world? It's another crappie. Look at that, guys. All right, here, let me pull this thing out and let this guy live. Got pliers? Yeah, hold on, I have pliers. Oh. Here, hand them to me. Huge. That is the biggest crappie I've ever seen. He's, He's got a bluegill in the mouth. Let's see if we can, oh my God, guys, look at that. What in the world, Jesus. I that was a carp. Yeah. Maybe I can go in through his gills. Maybe you can see the Ow. too. Yeah, he does have spiky things. Oh. oh, I got the freaking bluegill. Oh. oh, there's the bluegill. The bluegill's alive too. What in the freaking world? They're both alive. Look at that. They're both alive. Look at freaking that. Watch. There goes the bluegill. Let's see if we can revive this guy. Yeah, he's biting on my finger a little bit. That is a massive crappie. Holy crap, look at that guy's mouth. Yep, there he swims. Swim away, buddy, you got it. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, he'll be fine, here. Wow. Did it get away? Yeah, dude, that was insane. So basically what I saw there, I just saw a little blow up, a little splash right out there. And I just see the fins coming out of the water and like, is that a carp? Is that a bass? Is that like a bait fish getting eaten by something? And we go over there and Ben nets it up and it's that huge crappie. We look in the mouth and he didn't even see it at first. I see the little fin coming out of the mouth and it was just, it had a bluegill just choked down its gullet. Not even a big bluegill. But all we had to do was pull the little bluegill out through the... We had to pull it out the gills. It wouldn't come out the mouth. But we didn't rip up the gills or anything. And they both swam off healthy. That is one of the craziest things I've seen while fishing. That is insane. Wow, that is really cool. We only have like 20 minutes left to fish. We were just about to go pack up. Man, that is just so crazy. Let's see if we can actually just end on a couple last fish. That has got to be one of the craziest things I've seen while fishing, especially out on this lake. I've never seen a crappie that big before, especially swallowing a bluegill. Like what in the world? That was crazy. I think that's gonna do it for today. All right guys, thank you for watching this video of Real Bronski Bastin. What an insane way to end the day, finding that crappie with the bluegill just stuffed down its mouth. We caught some good fish today. It was a lot of fun filming this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.
Thank you.